Alrighty, this is my 100 subscriber special. This is the Q&A, questions nobody asks. It's the moon. This is Samira. She's very excited today. Hi, Bible. First, I figured I'd show you my bookshelf a little bit. This is my first edition Shilton copy of Dune. This is my author signed first edition God Emperor of Dune. Some of my favorite books here, things I grew up on, things that as a grown up I got into, a large amount of reference material. I've not been to college for all these things, but it's a good book right there. But uh, I've definitely educated myself. So question number one, what is up with that hat? Reference to the catcher in the rye. Second question. Where do you live? I live in Iowa. Is this heaven? Actually, yes. By the way, that's connected. In the novel, Shoeless Joe, in which the film uh, Field of Dreams is based, uh, the author that is kidnapped and brought to the ball field in Iowa, which I've been to as a kid, I visited on vacations, is J.D. Salinger, author of Catcher in the Rye, not some made-up hippie writer. Oh, one of my very, very, very favorites. I have all of them. Question number two. What is up with them teeth? Well, it's genetic. Both of my parents are of uh, what you could call noble lineage. My mom, that's my dad. I'm like the fusion of both. But uh, by, the by the time my dad was my age, he had a full set of dentures. I am not on commie care, so no government has paid for my teeth at this point. What is up with my tits? Well, my mom smoked a lot of weed when she was pregnant with me. The whole thing about... Oh, estrogen and breast growth and all that is a thing. That is a real thing. If you're having a baby, do not smoke weed. Well, once the baby is out of the womb and not breastfeeding, that's a whole other story. Oh, let's see. I want to thank, uh, I think I'm up to actually 104 uh, subscribers. It just blitzed straight past the 100 mark. There's Samira again. Samira demands affection. Hello, darling. Ah, baby. I live in Iowa. I have an acreage. I am uh, adjacent to Flint River, which is a small river that runs through southeast Iowa. I am in a position to survive under almost any circumstance. Uh, and I have endeavored to learn about how to do so, which is why you will see my post-apocalyptic mukbangs. And the longer and farther things go, the more... <laughs> Jeez, girl... The more nature-based stuff you will see as well, besides just the nature walks. In fact, after last night, I don't think I'm going to feel safe walking in the woods without bringing my gun. Um, okay, baby, hop down. Yeah. Sorry, Baba. What is my political affiliation? No party preference. I am not partisan. I am also not a moderate. I just don't like any of them. There are bits and pieces. What am I packing? This is my Henry, big boy. Can you see it? Forty four Magnum. What are my hobbies? Playing video games. Playing music. Collecting culture.
magic, studying the esoteric. All kinds of things in here, huh? All kinds of things. She is just amped up. She's excited I've got so many subscribers. I've been doing this channel for going on five years in about a month, and I never expected to get into the triple digit mark. This is Roger. As you can see, my house is an earth berm. It's got a very high ceiling in the main room, as well as in the front room. This is April. This is Princess, whom you've met, if you watch my other videos. And this is Oi. Hello, Oi. There she goes. And somewhere around here is Mr. Steve. Oh, I already let him out. Oof. Watch out, Princess. Here's the Steven. Hi, Bubba. How is it that I came to have such a spacious house? And how is it that it is inhabited by myself and my six cats? Well, long story short, those two people on the wall that I showed you, both died of cancer within about a year, year and a half of each other before I turned 40. This was the family homestead, therefore it is now mine. I have a sister, but she has a house in town. Each of us used uh, dad's life insurance money, our portion of it, to secure domiciles. Why am I here with six cats? Well, there used to be three other, no, four other humans and a dog as well. And the oldest uh, of those humans took the three, the younger humans, as well as the dog, and left. So it's me, my six cat babies, this big old house that is in need of work. I'll tell you that it is in need of work, but uh, getting to it, uh, I'm currently employed at a gas station in a small farm town where I happen to have gone to high school, and with any luck, uh, promotions in the future at some point, make a bit more money, be able to save up, and maybe the inflation will have gone down by then, but I kind of doubt it, so we're going to see, but my house needs a roof something bad. <coughs> yeah. Um, were there any other, ooh, were there any other questions? I don't think so. I'm into all kinds of music. i uh, interested in learning from history, not necessarily studying or obsessing over historical events as, as much as, yes, Baba, as much as learning from it. Gaining as much insight as possible. Ah, baby. My dad was a pastor. Before that, he was a machinist. And before that, he was in the Navy. Uh, my mom was big into lip, women's lib. Uh, she's always been in uh, production management, pretty much as far back as I can remember. Uh, college educated. Um... Oh, I got a funny one to show you. Babe, you're going to hate me for this for taking down off my lap already. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That was us back in the day. That's me. That's my dad. See the resemblance? My dad's my mom. I can also see the resemblance. And my kid sister. She is four years younger than me. Every room in this house has in one way or another been worked on by me. In the course of inheriting the place, I've learned how to drywall, how to paint, how to lay down laminate flooring. How to preserve and save the laminate flooring when the entire house gets flooded with over an inch of water. Because this 
cost $11,000 for me to be walking on. All came out of inheritance money. Because I've uh, honestly never made more than $23,500 a year, despite my best efforts. So, uh, thank you all for subscribing. I hope I haven't chased anybody off. Um, stay tuned. There's all kinds of stuff coming. Uh, more post-apocalyptic mukbangs, more nature walks, more explorations into the absurdity of the current political discourse, social engineering, and, quote, whatever the hell is being done to us. Um... Cannot honestly think of anything else at the moment. Oh, yeah, and you've seen me do auto repair stuff, too. I have a, uh, what you might call a renaissance man. I don't even go for jack-of-all-trades anymore. I just go for renaissance man. But as they say, a jack-of-all-trades, but a master of none, is better than a master of one. <laughs>